Hello, my practicum is through Catholic Community Services. There are many programs within Catholic Community Services. I will highlight Catholic Housing Services and tell you a little bit about Claire's Place. Catholic Housing Services is a division of Catholic Community Services that seeks to build better lives, stronger families, and healthier communities across Western Washington. It was established in 1979. Catholic Housing Services develops, owns, or manages more than 2,500 affordable housing units at 62 properties throughout Western Washington. Their goals are to create affordable housing that meets specific needs in each community, support marginalized communities, maintain healthy, beautiful, and dignified homes and communities of choice, and advocate for policies that ensure access to housing for all of our most vulnerable community members. Housing and Shelter Catholic Housing Services provided over 7,300 individuals with permanent housing in one of their affordable housing units for single adults, veterans, families, seniors, and people with special needs. 27 shelters offered over 290,000 emergency bed nights for single adults and families experiencing homelessness. In total, over 42,000 clients received housing assistance, including temporary shelter, transitional housing, rapid rehousing, and permanent supportive housing. Claire's Place provides 65 units of permanent supportive housing for chronically homeless and vulnerable households in Snohomish County. Catholic Community Services of Western Washington provides the supportive services to the residents with a focus on long-term stability. Claire's Place is another housing choice for chronically homeless households that have difficulty finding and qualifying for housing in the private market and that are seeking a supportive community. Our residents are invited to direct their energy and gifts towards experiences and the issues that contributed to their life challenges and to move to an improved and more stable living situation. This is Vern, one of Claire's first residents who is proudly posing for the local newspaper at the opening of Claire's. He, like all of our residents at Claire's, have not had a roof over their head or a place to call their own for years. His story included living in his car prior to having his leg amputated. Having no home, the hospital sent him to the Everett Gospel Mission. Unfortunately, he did not have a good experience there. He also had complications due to infections. When he was discharged a second time from the hospital, he came to Claire's place. He now has a caretaker who comes and helps him with his daily living skills and running errands. He also has been fitted with a prosthesis and has been working on gaining his strength back. Prior to coming to Claire's place, many of our residents camped illegally or were arrested for illegal drug activity. When Claire's place first opened in July, police officers noted that many of our residents had been ordered out of soda areas. Considering Claire's place is in such an area, the director of housing had to advocate on behalf of the residents when police implied they could not live at Claire's place. Our staff is thankful that Claire's Place is within an alcohol impacted area, as many of our residents use alcohol on a regular basis and it has impacted them negatively. Many of our residents are frequent participants within the mental health and drug treatment courts. The good news is they are now supported by their case managers. This is a snapshot of Catholic Community Services. Catholic Housing Services is just a fraction of their programs. Many of the residents that are at Claire's Place were frequent visitors at the Everett Family Center where they received support services. Funding for Catholic Community Services and their programs comes from a variety of sources. Claire's Place also receives support from the city and county. Housing vouchers help keep the residents' rent low, which is nice because most residents receive around two to $400 a month. Individuals and businesses donate items, food, services, and time. Sarah Jane, who is my field advisor, is a Northwest Region Director. Managers support the staff and residents. The front desk staff are there 24 seven, while case managers and property managers have a more structured week. As an intern, I have gained case management skills. While I've offered women's group and a budgeting class, there has been little interest. 
Claire's Place follows a harm reduction model. Residents do not need to be free from drug use or to participate in mental health services to qualify for housing. All interactions with residents are to support the harm reduction model. Catholic Community Services is audited once a year. Property managers need to meet deadlines and quotas set out by the organization. Case managers need to show that they are helping residents set and meet their goals. As an intern, I have the opportunity to perform Get to Know You interviews. The information residents share helps staff not only get to know their needs, but also their strengths. I have been in awe of the strengths many residents have used to overcome their challenges and to get to where they are now. One woman shared how she was homeless for eight years before coming to Claire's. I sat with another woman who was so thankful to finally have a home as she had no family around to support her and now she has a community. One resident's counselor called to say that they have worked with a resident for five years before he came to Claire's. He never stayed for the whole session at his weekly mental health appointments, often came high and usually left upset and never came with clean clothes. However, after being at Claire's for two months, he had recently come showered and with clean clothes, stayed for his whole counseling session and stated that everyone at Claire's place treated him like he was normal. We have several residents who are taking their medications for the first time in years. They appreciate the daily reminders and assistance when refills are needed. We have residents who are now receiving an income with the help of case managers. One was able to apply for his pension and is now receiving $700 a month. Living at Claire's Place does come with adjustments, but staff is always there to support with a listening ear, a warm meal, a ride to appointment, and support in court. It has been a pleasure getting to know the residents and to see the positive changes that supportive housing can make for those who are vulnerable due to mental health or substance use.